Captain, Captain. What is it? Did you hear more about the silver dragon? Captain, no. It's something. Ch uh, uh. Oh my gosh, it's the ghouls. The ghoul huntsmen are here. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> sorry guys. Hey everyone, Rick here. And we are opening Pathfinder Battles, the Rusty Dragon Inn pre-painted plastic figure booster packs. These are bricks of eight. This is brick three of four. Let's dive right in. And find out what we got. So, if you see my previous videos, I am just loving this stuff. I have These are the first booster packs of Pathfinder Battles pre-painted figures that I have ever opened. And I was drawn to this set, which is a couple years old by now, apparently, due to the fact that this has, uh, like, dungeon dressing in it. Like, tavern dressing. Stools, barrels, all sorts of stuff. I am loving the generic figures, so I am on the lookout for those. Specifically, I am looking for, at this point, this bartender. I don't know what's all in the set. I have not done any research on it, so I have no clue what other figures I'm finding. I would love to get more of those guard figures, honestly. I love this. I only have one of him so far. I want more guards. I want a bar. I want this version of the bartender. And I want more furniture, dungeon dressing, tavern dressing kind of stuff. So that's what we're on the lookout for. Anyways, pack number one of eight. We start out with a horse. Oh, and I'm already seeing something else that I'm thrilled about. But let's start off with the horse. This is a riding horse which you, I just love the theme of this pack. I don't know how many Pathfinder Battles sets have there been. I have no clue. But I'm going to have to take another look at this. I love this Rusty Dragon Inn set because it's all kind of like village stuff. Just, you know, generic things like this. Love it. This is what I was so excited about. Because these pious guards, yes, I want an entire legion of these pious guards. How cool is that? And led by the watch commander. Oh, love it. Anyway, I'll try not to get carried away. And, and this, this is also what I'm loving. I already have one of him, but... The, just the fact that they're coming out with these generic townsfolk. This is an aristocrat. Oh, yes. Look at that. The paint job on these is serviceable. That's what I'll say. They are serviceable. Not bad. You know, when you're looking at it from, you know, the table, it doesn't look too bad from that far away. I just love pre-painted anything, folks. I really do. So, last figure of the first pack is... I do not have this guy yet. This is a half-elf enchanter. Oh, man. Because this kind of looks like a nobleman or noble's woman, doesn't she? Or he. Like that flowing cloak. Looks like a magician. But that is a half-elf enchanter. I am really liking the look of that figure. Very cool. All right, pack number two. Remember, we're looking for a bartender. We're looking for generic figures. We're looking for terrain, dungeon dressing. I keep calling it dungeon dressing, tavern dressing. And, of course, you cannot go wrong with more of these gigantic rats. Now, again, I have no idea anything about the Pathfinder lore. I could probably find this guy in the bestiary. But it's called a Kyrix. Now, I don't know if that's the breed or if that is like a named figure in Pathfinder, but this is a six-legged, gigantic, horse-eating rat. And it just drags the horses right out of the stable. Isn't that creepy? And here we go. I love these generic figures, such as the dancing girl. Man, my tavern is going to be hopping with all of these dancing girls. Next up, we have another of our favorite little folk. This is 
a gnome wizard, I believe. Yes, gnome wizard. I'm going to basically have a cult of gnome wizards by the end of this. Oh, man, you guys. Look who we have here. A serving girl. See, I wondered about that because on the box, she is called a bartender. She's called a serving girl here. The reason is, if you saw my last video, we actually did get a figure that is named the bartender. So... I was like, so are there two different kinds of bartenders? No, this one was just mislabeled on the box. This is the serving girl, but this is the one we were looking for to complete our tavern staff. How awesome. Bartender, serving girl. Oh, perfect. So that's exactly... We can stop now, right? We're two packs in to this brick of eight, and we've already got... The Serving Girl. Oh, man. It is icing on the cake from here on out, folks. Anything else we get at this point is jelly or jello. But why stop there? We have a flesh golem. And that's the fantastic thing about the generic figures. Because, you know, I'm not a big fan of the named figures. Of course, you can use the named figures as just generic figures. But these kind of generic figures, like Flesh Golem. So you can have multiple Flesh Golems wreaking havoc on your village. Oh, and here we go. Like I say, you can't have... A cult without multiple of these. Man, I'm going to need a, a cauldron. Man, wouldn't that be so cool if there was like a dungeon dressing? I wonder, has Pathfinder... Let me know. Has Pathfinder Battles done more dungeon dressing in their booster packs? Because look at this. I already got this huge kobold devil speaker cult going on. They don't have a cauldron. They don't have a summoning circle. I need one of those. But until then, we'll have to make do with a graceful slayer. Not just a slayer, a graceful slayer. And man, that takes talent with all those spiky armored pieces on you to remain graceful. Awesome. That's a new figure. I have not pulled that figure yet. So there's apparently 45 different figures. Yes! Look at this. We have another table. This is exactly what I'm looking for, folks. So now I have two tables. One came in the premium, uh, you know, case incentive thing. So now I have three tavern tables. Perfect. Love it. And then you can see these people walking around the tables. Oh, love it. We're not even halfway through this brick yet, and I've already got more furniture, more generic figures, the serving girl. I'm loving this. But let's continue. We have... Maybe I can get it right without looking. An ice giant frost mage. Is that right? Let's find out. Ice Giant Frost Mage is what I am going to say. Darn, I was so close. Frost Giant Ice Mage. Did I say Ice Giant Frost Mage? So anyway, this figure is huge. I mean, well, let's put it next to a dancing girl. That is a gigantic figure. Love the kind of frosted, translucent dragon staff. Love the intricate torso tattoo work on him. That just looks too cool. And then, because we have gotten several gnome wizards at this point, it's about time we got another dwarven wizard. A dwarf wizard. Yeah, very cool. And then, Mama Bugbear Mystic. I don't know why I determined that it, she just looks like a mom doesn't she now this i don't mean i i am not you know bashing my mom she looks nothing like my mom but she looks like if a bugbear if a bugbear had a mom she looks like a bugbear's mother and when you get multiple bugbear mamas together i mean 
the, nothing good can come from this, okay? Nothing good. If you see this many mama bugbear mystics coming towards you, th this is this is not a good scenario. Okay, last figure of the pack, and it is another serving girl, folks. Our tavern staff is looking fantastic. Oh, look at that. I am loving this. Yeah, you can definitely have multiple serving girls. Are there no male staff members in this? I don't know. Oh, man, I just saw something in here already, you guys. And it was not the bugbear. It was this, the generic guardsman. He's just a guard. Yes, I want a lot of this guy because... I'm going to need a bunch of these guards. Yes. More of those, please. With these big figures, I mean, there's only so many big figures in a set. And with most of these booster packs containing at least one big figure, you're going to have a lot of these big figures. Beaky the Owl Bear. I have like a herd. Of owl bear. You thought four bugbear mystics charging at you was bad? This is worse. Who else do we got? Because that's not all. We are ha we're only halfway through this brick. We have a cut purse. Oh yes, a generic cut purse. A scoundrel. Which is awesome because I have a couple of those already. But again, generic figures like that, awesome. You run into those guys in a dark alleyway. And I love this. The riding dog. You can just see a dwarf or a gnome or something riding on this little dog. Oh, man. That's a riding dog. Okay, pack number six of eight. Let's find out what we've got. Oh, that's a new big figure. At this point, if I find a new big figure, that is news. But look, first of all, we have another bunyip. So I am coming across multiple bunyips. Now, these guys are fantastic. I mean, they're weird. I've never seen anything quite like them. And I have no idea, like, what their lore or backstory is. But I can see that being crafted into a fun adventure. But let's look at this guy. I have not seen him before. Okay. Zilva Zerat, huh? Zilva Zerat? Anyway, that guy looks crazy. He is gigantic. He looks native. He looks like he's in some kind of native garb, which is fantastic because he almost looks like some kind of giant merchant. That's what I want to use him as. Where's my human merchant at? Here's an aristocrat. I love these townsfolk. Give me more townsfolk. Here's my merchant. Here's my little pot-bellied human merchant, and here is a giant merchant. That's what I'm using him as. You can let me know in the comments if you know what he actually is. But until then, he's going to be a giant merchant. And our band, our tavern band, just got a little bit bigger. Because we have another dwarf bard, the percussion section of our tavern music ensemble just got doubled. That was an elvish bard with the dwarven bard. And then another figure that it's nice to have multiples of are these vampire spawns. Doesn't that look cool? And so, yes, you need multiple vampire spawns because just one, I mean, while it's dangerous, you need multiples. Imagine those guys coming at you. And I have to imagine that the ghouls are behind this. 
the ghouls have to be behind the fact that there are so many vampiric spawn in the realm. In case you're wondering what this mat is, this is my oversized mat for the miniature board game Folklore the Affliction. This is the second to last pack of Brick 3 of 4. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. What do I open first? I see something awesome. Let's open this first because we have another graceful slayer. She is the most graceful of all slayers. Or he. He's can be graceful. And then another dancing girl. Oh, yes. That tavern is hopping at this point. Folks, this is what I'm thrilled about. This is a crate. Oh, yes, it is more dressing, tavern dressing. You can use this as in a dungeon. You can do whatever you want with this. I have not gotten one of these yet. This is my first one. If I, Because I did glance at what comes in the set, but not very much. I just saw a farmer, which I loved. But I also saw that some of the furniture pieces are rare. Like, some of the furniture pieces in this set are rare to get. So, that's awesome. So far, I've pulled two tables, a crate, and a barrel in terms of, like, tavern furniture. So, I'm loving that. I'm looking for more of that kind of stuff. But, you can't go wrong with another draft horse. I think this is my third draft horse because I have three riding horses and three draft horses. I love it. I love the fact that they came out with these horses because that's something you don't normally think to grab when you are assembling a village. You might have figures on horses, but just, you know, horses by themselves, I don't typically see that very much. And this is the last pack of this brick. And there's something in there that I do not have not had before. The other three, it looks like, are duplicates. How many Gorgons are there? Is a Gorg, because I don't know. I don't know myth and lore very much. I don't know the story of the Gorgon. I've heard of it before. Can there be more than one Gorgon? That's what I want to know. Because here we have another Gorgon. Now this is an awesome figure. I love the Gorgon sculpt. This is my second Gorgon. And that looks terrifying. I'm going to get to the figure that I think I've never seen before last. Until then, we have another Kobold trap maker. Little mischievous guy with his bear trap. Love it. No, we'll get to him last. Because this is, oh yeah, another ghoul huntsman. Awesome. Again, more of these figures too. Because I want, you know, full on war bands of those guys. Okay. This is interesting. This is a figure on a flight stand. Gotta be careful. Don't just rip this apart. Who or what is this? It's on like a turkey. The, a vulture. A goblin vulture pilot, folks. This is probably hands down the most unique figure from this brick that I have pulled. A goblin vulture pilot. He has like, what is that in his hand? A bomb? So he's going to be like soaring through the skies on a vulture dropping bombs. That's awesome. Okay, folks, here's a recap. This is everything we've pulled so far out of three bricks. We have one more brick to go. Stay tuned. I'll be uploading that one next. Folks, thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.